Oh wow, two vehicles of police. So this is paddy wagon. Okay, yeah, so that's the paddy wagon. Yeah. So just, just press it. That'd be nice. Um, just press to record, it'll say recording. You press it off at number Hello. Sergeant Marco. Just Marco. My last name is Okay. We got another complaint from Mr. Castello from the events um, Saturday. Came in uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. So uh, I need to talk to this gentleman right here. So I'm investigating you and charging you with mischief. I'm going to recommend those charges and give it a crown. But uh, right now you need to identify yourself to me, okay? Am I being detained? Yeah. For, for what mischief, time? For mischief. Okay. okay. You need to identify yourself. And then I can forward the stuff to Crown. Okay. Okay? Sure. Are you going to identify yourself to me? Yes. Yeah. So I'm being detained right now, being investigated for mischief. Uh, when I was over there with the police, all they asked me was my name and address. He asked me the phone number, but I didn't give him that. But I did give him my name and my last, uh, my last address, which is where mail goes. And that was all that was communicated. So uh, my question is, so you're not detaining him, but you are charging him? I'm going to put in recommending charges against you. Okay, so you're and here Crown to... will make that decision. Okay, so you're not actually arresting no. him at this point. No, he okay, identified you're just... himself. I'm okay. satisfied. Okay. Basically, I send in the circumstances of the event on Saturday to Crown. And then Crown, in this case, because we're dealing with uh, civil disobedience, the local Crown sends it to Camels, to regional Crown. And they'll review it, they'll review the circumstances. And they either approve or don't approve the decision. Okay, however, this is the, one of the problems in the, in the Canadian system, is that we're so focused on rights. What about our responsibilities? Glacier Resorts Limited, the only reason we're here is because Glacier Resorts Limited is not living up to the responsibilities. They're all about their rights. Why has nobody arrested Glacier Resorts Limited for the pile of contaminated soil? on that landing for two years. That's been poisoning the water in this watershed for two years. Again, there's there's, or a decade. there's there's rights and responsibilities there. They've got money to pay a lawyer to harass us here, but they haven't got money to pay a lawyer to respond to a, to a very legitimate judicial review that we filed and the courts have accepted. What's with that? Like how, this is not about you fellows here, but how are we supposed to respect a system that doesn't follow its own rules, that has different sets of rules for different people, that has one set of rules for Mr. Costello and Oberti with their billion dollar resort, and has a different set of rules for us, the people who have lived on this land for a long time and love it and use it. I mean, the number of people, you should see the statistics of the people who come up here, and every striper person, when we tell them what's going on here, everybody from the Yahooist of Alberta, ATV Yahoos, right through to the the uh, tree tree hugging uh, girls from from Golden, agree. Like, what's with that? What is with that? 